with someone on the set of the Vampire Diaries, you're kind of locked in and bonded forever. I don't know why, but um, probably the coolest ever the event was what they talked about the um, the Hot Topic event. You know, I I I've done soap operas before and done fan conventions, and those can be a little hectic, but. I mean, I kid you not, we were walking out of this mall and people were acting like they were gonna jump from the rafters, you know, we were just, holy shit, whoa, hey, love you. Like girls were trying to jump over the barricade to get to us and our show hadn't even aired yet. So it kind of let me know what we were in for, you know? And I, I remember also, there was a really cool moment during the pilot. The pilot was the first episode. We were shooting in Vancouver and, and I don't know if you remember, but Ian's character, Damon, kind of came at the end of the pilot. So we were there filming for weeks and Ian hadn't even worked yet. He was just hanging out and stuff and like just getting to know all of us. And I was in the makeup trailer with him. And that's why I said earlier, I was sitting next to Ian in the makeup trailer. I met him at the test and I was like, hey man, nice to meet you. I saw you in this play, Dog Sees Guy. They were awesome, dude. Like I was kind of starstruck by Ian at first. So then to be on the set with him after booking the job, and I've done other pilots, you know, pilot doesn't mean it's guaranteed. They, a lot of times you film pilots and they're, they're canned. But Ian looked at me literally and he's like, get ready for the ride of your life, kid. And he meant it. It's been the ride of my life. It's been amazing. Thanks to you guys. Como recuerdo, dice que posiblemente los mejores recuerdos de su carrera han sido en Crónicas Vampíricas. Eh, ese recuerdo que estaban recordando antes en el panel, bueno, no estabais todos, así que lo recuerdo, que cuando iban a, aún no se había puesto en la televisión la, la serie, hicieron un super evento en un centro comercial y cuando entraron la gente se volvió loca y fue el momento en que se dieron cuenta de que estaban haciendo algo grande. Y también cuando llegaron a la... Cuando, llegaron a, eh, cuando estaban grabando el piloto, que realmente pues, es cuando se graba y no se sabe si se va a coger después. Pero estaba, con, estaba con Ian en el... en el camerino y le dijo Ian que prepárate para, para esta, esta atracción o... Sí, para este viaje que va a ser grande. Y ahí se dio cuenta también. Exactly what he said. Hey, my friend, she's sick, so I'm gonna do a question for her. You're sick, hold on a second. Okay, you should be good now. So, she wants to know what, who is the, the person that you are most connected with, who is the person that you have a closer relationship uh, On the cast? Yes. Wow, that's another tough question. Um, I mean, I love them all so much, but, um, uh, you know, it's, it's hard because Ian, I've learned so much from all of them. Like Michael and I are the same age, and, and we are very similar people. Michael, I am Michael in the country. I'm a country Michael. He's a city Zach. You know what I mean? We're the same kid that grew up in different places. Ooh, different places. Um, I've learned many, many lessons of life from Ian. Uh, he's, he's taught me a lot, but... He's probably most connected to Matt Davis. Matt Davis is my, he's my, he's my, my best friend. I mean, I got, like, I, I, I wanted to have a brother my whole life, and uh, Matt's the closest thing I've ever had to a real brother, for sure. He's like my big brother. Even my, even my younger sister, Matt, he texts her all the time. And he's like, you guys are my real family. Say the same thing back. My daughter calls him Uncle Matt. She calls Ian, Uncle Ma Ian, Michael, Uncle Michael. Like, it's pretty cool. So. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. I love you guys. I feel connected to you guys too. I, I want to tell you that. Season five, going this far into it, you really start to feel connected with your fans because we get to meet you guys like this all the time. I mean, I don't know if you guys noticed, but if you ever sent me a letter, a fan letter, I wrote back. I always sign a picture and send it back. So if you haven't gotten it yet, they're, they're coming. I literally, I, I just, I bring home the stacks to my kitchen and I have my nanny. She puts a post-it on it, what to sign, envelope, everything. Is... <laughs> so, they're coming. <laughs> Dice que se siente muy conectado con sus fans, que llevar cinco años haciendo una serie, pues realmente le ha dado la oportunidad de estar conectado con los fans y que sí, alguna vez, no, 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 que alguna vez habéis, habéis enviado una carta a, a Jack que realmente él las contesta todas y las, las vuelve a enviar. Así que, ya sabéis. Hey, the switch brands. <laughs> Uh, Matt, you... I'm Francesca. Francesca. How is Lord? He is a giant pain in the ass. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It, 
it's really cool. Um, I mean, most times you're not fortunate enough to get to work with your your really good friends. You know, you have to wait to the weekend to hang out with them. I go to work and hang out with some of my best friends every time I'm at work. So it's it's pretty cool. It, it's a uh, it's always a laugh to say the least. Michael and I laugh a lot. So. Matt Davis might be my best friend, but Michael Trevino and I are a package. We are sold together. <laughs> you got one, you got two. Yeah. Dice que, que, que se lo pasa muy bien, se lo pasa muy bien allí, y dice que con Michael son, son como un pack, que van siempre juntos, están como cosidos. Y, y dice que tiene la suerte de que sus mejores amigos están en su trabajo, por lo tanto, se va a trabajar con sus mejores amigos. <risa> Thank you. Come on down. Oh gosh, I'm in trouble now. You uh, are. We are live streaming. You know. We are. Wow. All right. To the camera. Thanks for telling me now. Great. It's a joke. No. Oh no, I know it's a dirty joke. It's a, it's a not nice joke. How, how are you doing? How's that, Rory? We have some uh, questions from the people that are live streaming now. Uh, Sassy asks, uh, why do you think is the Vampire Diary so popular? Because I'm on the show. <laughs> Uh, you know what, you, you want to know why I think the Vampire Diaries is so popular? Um, I hope this translates, but I think we have the most eclectic, talented cast on television. We might just be a vampire supernatural show on the CW, but our storylines go to depths of people's personal lives that most shows don't, while bringing an element of the supernatural world so you can sort of escape real life, you know what I'm saying? It's imaginary, but yet it's so real It's just it's the best of both worlds, you know? And and uh, we've also got some of the sexiest men in the world on our show. Yeah. Ian Summerholder, I do. <laughs> Matter of fact, I have. Dice que es un conjunto de todo un poco, ¿no? Aparte de que tienen un cast de gente muy talentosa, tienen unos guiones que, aparte de tocar un poco la parte real de la vida, también tocan lo supernatural, así que también te dejan escapar. De, de todo un poco y dice que aparte tienen los hombres más sexys de, del mundo y que él personalmente piensa que Ian está muy bueno y que se lo haría en cualquier momento. Mikey asked uh, what did you like the most in Brussels? Mikey ah uh, Brussels. The beer. <laughs> okay, I didn't drink at all. Chocolate. <laughs> uh, what did I like about Brussels? Well, to be honest with you, I had a, I had a lot of really good experiences with fans in Brussels, actually. Like, my meet and greets were really cool in Brussels. Uh, anytime I got to talk to the fans in person, it was really fun. I will say, my Q&A, Oh, God. Sometimes that language barrier can really mess you up because I was trying to be really funny and uh, I just felt like none of it was landing. And I, I maybe, I, maybe I said too many inappropriate things. I'm not sure. Sí que tuvo muy buenas experiencias con los fans, pero cuando llegó este momento los paneles, 